Uh, what's up guys? So, I'm gonna test a few different champions today again. And I'm just gonna quickly show the builds. And maybe if some of them work out, I will go more into the detail. But basically, I built a several champion. I have one Royal Huntsman in 6p stone skin. And his A3 hits very hard, like his other two skills are not really relevant. And his main nuke is 5 turn cooldown, which is very long. But it does like 250k damage and it basically one shots anything. It will one shot even something like Taras, so... And it like it completely ignores defense, so it is very hard to survive it. I will maybe try that with like a slow stone skin Lydia. And I also had Ronda built. It's not in my best gear, but it is in one of my secondary lethal sets. And I will probably pair it as well with the Lydia or with another nuker. And then I got one more. These all three champions are basically similar. They're all ignore defense champions. But the third one I'm gonna try is actually Swift Barry Blood Gorge. And he has kind of the same deal that he fully ignores the enemy defense with his A3, but it also block revives. But this skill hits way less than Royal Huntsman, and it's not always gonna one shot everything. So I can't use it against teams that have something like Urusuka. I need to be more careful with this. But maybe if I can pick it to something and it can one shot, it can kind of do the same that both Initve and Royal Huntsman do, like something in between. I actually tried to use, or not like, I used this um, like a year ago on December. Actually, I did one plat push with this and one with Bracus for fun. I don't remember what the exit ranks I got, but I did get plat, but probably not super high rank, but I kind of did it for the memes, but I was actually not um, impressed by his nukes at all. I have um, tried to use him a couple times and every time I felt like he just doesn't have enough damage with this skill. And it's kind of same deal with Royal Huntsman that his other two skills are not that great. Like the damage isn't very big, even though this effect that it um, increases one of their skills cooldown by, uh, puts one of the skills in cooldown. This might seem pretty good, but it didn't seem very good in practice. I do remember that some IPR players were using Blood Gorge for a few months, maybe like a year ago or something, but he has never really been but he has never really been that popular in arena. But let's just do a few fights and see how this goes. I don't really have any high expectations, but let's just see what happens. I'm still like hunting for another nuker that I could use and I thought that I could try a few different ones and put them in a build that um, I can have all of them geared at once so everybody is not in lethal this time. I think, uh, yeah, I need to pick, maybe I will pick Rotos, Duchess and Necrit first and then I will choose the last two after that so that um, I might be able to go with the Ludia team if I so choose to. I might still use Initve or use double Duchess, we will see. Kind of just testing and seeing what works out. Mm, this is kind of interesting. This is probably gonna be in Stone Skin. So I can't really one-shot it, so against this I definitely want to go with double reviver, I think. Actually, if I go with double reviver and if he eventually gets a turn, should I try blood gorge against this? Actually, that might be interesting. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, let's try it. Let's go with um, the second Duchess and blood gorge. Yeah. But yeah, if, if Blood Gorge doesn't get to kill him, then I stand no chance, so we will see. 
if he picks something like UDK, I will kind of be fucked. Well, he only has Nuker, so he can't really pick UDK, but we will see. Uh, I definitely want to ban one of the Nukers with this team. The, the Candy is gonna Wail, and the Heprak is probably gonna be in 6p stone skin, but I'll still ban the Candy and let's see how it goes. Well, I do have double nuke, so I don't really necessarily have to get a kill with Blood Gorge, but it would be kind of interesting to see. I think it's gonna do like around 120k damage, but we will see. It kind of, of course, depends what buffs they have, but increased defense doesn't matter, so. Okay, so it is only in. Uh, four P stone skin, so definitely. Well, I guess I'm still gonna go first, but four P stone skin isn't too bad. Actually, I should probably have this fight pretty easily covered. Though the Uko might prove to be very annoying. We will see. Um, do I even want to kill the Heprock? Because then I can't book revive it. Maybe maybe I won't kill it. Does that make sense? Let, let's try it. I'm not really sure if this was a good idea. Blood Gorged might still get stunned or um, decrease. Uh, Attack, we will see. I guess he won't now. Good timing. But yeah, these are like a few champions that are not very popular in the game. And we will give them a shot because I was very impressed with Initway yesterday. And I'm definitely going to try using him in future as well. And see if he actually becomes one of my main champions. Next arena reset, I will definitely use it in Platinum Arena. But yeah, I guess this was pretty good matchup. Like, this is basically a done deal now. Like, this skill is gonna ignore defense, and they cannot be revived after you kill him with this skill. And it's gonna hit, I don't know, like, I assume like 120k, so definitely it's gonna kill Heprock. Oh, only 90k, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's not very high. That, that's gonna be so. Yeah, I guess that makes sense because that's how I was super de disappointed with um, Blood Gorge last time I used him. I have tried to use Blood Gorge a few different times, but every time I'm disappointed. I think the last time was just after Blessings were released and I was trying a bit of different comps for a while. Maybe I won't try Blood Gorged in this fight. It will be kind of interesting to see how it plays out in the gold arena where you can't pick same champions as enemy team. Like, I guess they made it so that you can't get to gold during this beta or it takes way too long time, but I think it will probably be very different there. Like. Right now, because we can pick the same champions, like, we often do pick the same champions, and not being able to do that would affect this a lot. Um, what do I want to do? Uh, should I try the... Uh, but then he might ban Lydia. Uh, I kind of want to try Royal Huntsman here. I'm not sure if that's a good, good idea, but okay, let's go with it. Fuck it. We will see. I was thinking that maybe the Royal Huntsman can survive this Baron, but I'm not even sure if it can. Like, it's in 6p stone skin, but it might still die to the Baron. I'm not 
really sure at all, so... I'm expecting that he will actually ban my dodges, which would make a lot of sense here. We will see. No? Okay. Well, if... Um, if Huntsman gets a turn, I should win this, maybe? Maybe, like... Maybe it will take too long time for, like, him to get second kill that I will struggle finish this fight. I'm not really sure. Is he gonna save the nook? I don't think he's... Oh, he did use it. Um, I could kill the Baron, but I think instead I'm gonna kill one of the Revivers. This Arbiter actually looks tankier than the Sifi, which is kind of weird, but... I think I still want to kill the Sifi first. The issue with Huntsman is gonna be that he can only kill one target and then he isn't really gonna do a lot, but I guess he at least survived the, the um, Baron Nook. Okay, you, can I even kill with this A3? Maybe I can. Uh, do I want to do it? These look very low HP. Maybe they can even die to the Oh fuck, I used the wrong skill. <laughs> I was meant to use the AoE nook, but I'm not even sure if the um, AoE nook would have killed the revivers. I'm not... yeah. Probably it would kill Baron. Maybe actually this was a good idea, because... Maybe the Baron even would have died because it has... Um, increased defense. But now it's definitely gonna die. Like, the Royal Huntsman AoE is gonna be incredibly weak, so... Um, can I get his... no. Yeah, this Lydia is built in low accuracy on purpose so that um, she wouldn't get sheeped because if she gets sheeped then she won't be able to, like, her passive won't apply. Okay, looks like I think we're winning this fight. I guess it is still possible, like, I guess this is gonna come down to RNG because the... <laughs> More to my uh, Brock is passive. We are we don't have the whale yet, so. But I do definitely want to. Uh, yeah, I have to do the nook. Yeah. M maybe yeah, maybe I can. I might actually lose this. Like, okay, he didn't Brock burial. I'm not sure if I could have won this if he did kill the huntsman here. I guess I can still lose. We will see. But yeah, maybe with the Mortu in this team, like, this isn't good enough, but I thought that maybe, like, Ludia and Huntsman or Ronda would work against some teams. Okay, so the worst case happened. Now, technically, Ludia can um, block the enemy, I mean, revive a blocked um, Huntsman, but he doesn't have any revivers left to Brock Ludia passive, so it's not gonna happen. I guess I lost this fight, but yeah, this is kind of um, a tricky team and maybe not like, maybe not the safest option. I was kind of playing with fire here. Though it probably would have worked if he didn't have the mortal in this team, but I had to ban the warlord, so it is what it is. I guess yeah, we got we got owned. Maybe uh I don't know, I could have picked two nukers here as well, or like, three nukers in total. Maybe I need to try that in one of the fights as well. I'm not really sure... Um, I hope my init base... Um, um, lower HP than blood cords. Maybe I need to check it, because... If I use those two in the same team, and the init is higher HP, then it would be bad. I need to check it first. Yeah, I guess we got owned in this fight. It is what it is. Well, may maybe, maybe. Do we have a chance? No. Okay, we got... Come on. No peril? Yeah, nice, okay. Well, we won this one, but this was very close. Oh, he's more... Uh, no, fuck. Ah, damn it. So reap on mortal. Nice. That is kind of odd choice, to be honest, but good for him, I guess. Um, let's see, is... Can I even use Blood Courts and Huntsman together? 
So Blood Gorge is 43k HP. And yeah, you need to waste 35, so if I use them together, Necrot is gonna protect Initve. They need to Yeah, I guess Huntsman as the Soul Nucro seems like a no-go, but though it might work with Ronda a bit better. But I had to try it. Like the difference is that we got the Huntsman in full stone skin, because he fully ignores enemy defense. But Ronda is gonna be in lethal, so it's not gonna be as tanky. But I kind of need her to be in lethal, so. And yeah, I'm just gonna pick Roto 7, though he has UDK. I'm just. I rely on this Rotos too much, so it is what it is. He's probably thinking to himself that that I made a big mistake and why did I pick Rotos? But I don't have a choice, so. Fuck, I don't. I hope this guy doesn't have two um, locals. Um, uh, do we want to go? Yeah, I guess the Blood Gorged isn't gonna work because of his um, because of his UDK. So I'm either gonna have to use Ronda or Initva here. So let's just go with the double Duchess. Yeah, this this seems pretty hard team. I'm not sure if I can win this, but uh, yeah, let's go with Initve, I guess. Initve might get the kill even like despite the UDK. And sadly, I do have to ban the Warlord because Initve isn't gonna do anything against a Warlord team. So Rotos will definitely be able to win, but but I mean, if he banned Rotos, then it would have been instant loss if I didn't ban Warlord. But I probably would have wanted to ban the UDK, to be honest. Or maybe even the Duchess. If I could have gotten the Duchess banned and he didn't have Warlord, that would have been an easy team. Initwe would have definitely killed one of the Nukers in his first turn. Ah, uh, interesting. My Rotos is faster than his... Uh, his dodge as well, it's not gonna do anything, but kind of surprising. I went, went with the A2 because, well, it, it the UDK is so slow that it doesn't really, it, it's not a big help anyway, but if I did multiple A1s in row, like, Rotos would lose all of the buffs, and he's still gonna lose the Whale and the attack buff before UDK loses his protection, but um, maybe he will still have some of the, like, strengthen and like the other buffs we will see this is a very slow udk i guess it is zero speed so it is properly built uh, this is also interesting fact that not everybody might know but even though udk or you probably know this unless you don't have like you haven't used this mechanic, but the UDK is gonna re um, redirect to himself the first skill that the enemy does. And when we do the ally attack, it's gonna reflect the first hit of the ally attack and the Rotos hit or whoever is your nuker, it's always gonna hit the target. So with something like candy, you can definitely use this mechanic. But otherwise, actually, UDK has very interesting synergy with candy because even though UDK passive like um, deflects one hit from the enemy team it actually does um, deflect both of the candy a1 hits to himself like that's some kind of like weird coding how they did it it doesn't really make too much sense but that's that's how it goes so it's actually pretty good matchup against candy though if candy does his aoe nuke it will still do damage but candy is pretty like um a1 is the like big deal about Candy. I mean, the AoE nuke is, is good, but he is known for having, like, he used to have the best A1 from any nukers, but nowadays it's the second best after Georgit. Was very insane A1, by the way. I mean, it is super RNG heavy, but 
Gorgeous A1 is like ultra insane. Uh, let me actually... Just for context. Ah, fuck, I don't have a tab open here. Uh, there you go. Uh, this is not looking too good for me. Like the Baron is definitely gonna work, do work and kill my um, Duchesses even when they're built tanky. Uh, wait, what was I supposed to look up? Dude, I, I totally forget, forgot what I was meant to look up. It's kind of late and um, we were like doing some Easter stuff today, so I barely played the game at all, so I'm a bit tired and uh, clumsy, I guess. Come on, at least go through the shield. Okay, good. Yeah, I, I guess I'll win this eventually, I assume. Uh, let's protect the uh, Duchess, it's more important than Rotos at this point. But I keep the re Revivers alive. I guess this is a very fruitful threatening team to meet. Like, he's going with UDK against Rotos and trying to like tank me and outwall me. But then I'm going with the double Duchess, which he might have not seen coming. Which is definitely very like. Brutal straighting to deal with, but I'm not sure if this will work against, like, top players. Like I mentioned before, I definitely hope to get one, like, new nuker, like, sometime soon. Even if it's just something like candy, like, candy would be very nice. But, of course, my most wanted one would be Taras. Or Georgie, but... Uh, yeah, okay, I probably want them pretty equally, but... Probably still more Taras, because if I happen to get Taras and Marriage got that would be insane. It is basically, if you happen to pull both of them, it's a free lottery ticket and you're guaranteed to like place high in Platinum with those two. I'm kind of um, anxious to find out that how long is it gonna take for them to nerf Taras and Marriage got. I'm kind of seeing different opinions from people that some are expecting it to come very soon and some are not sure if they will ever nerf Taras and Marichka. We, we will see. But yeah, these tag team fights are definitely like super long, so you need to be prepared for this. This isn't really something that you can just quickly do and then do some other thing in the game. You kind of need to do your dailies or have lots of time to do other stuff in order to do this because it's gonna take the entire time. Okay, this is kind of interesting. This is kind of gonna be an RNG matchup because actually it has decreased attack. I guess I'm not gonna kill the Duchess. Fuck. Fuck. Ah, it's not gonna die. If I kill the Duchess, then I would also kill the... Oh, I did kill it. Nice. Okay, I guess it wasn't very high defense. So now... It's gonna be the thing that happened before with me as well. If if my Rotos procs his passive and does counter attack after his Rotos hits me, then I win. And if he doesn't, then I lose. Okay, it did. I should win now. Come on. Yeah, nice. Yeah, th that, that that was kind of close. So this was pretty hard matchup against my, my team, but I guess I won the coin toss in the end. So I I'll take the win. Uh, maybe I need to try Ronda in next fight. I kind of... Um, I lost one fight to somebody that was using Eprak and Ludia, but... I, I haven't seen anybody else use Ludia, but... It is kind of interesting, like... I'm wondering, maybe Ludia could be, like, a usable pick. I haven't really, like... I haven't seen any of the, like, top accounts in my clan or anybody in my clan using him so I assume he's not she's not gonna be great but maybe she could serve role that's what that's kind of what I was thinking that if I use something like Huntsman or Ronda who can easily kill one target 
then I could kind of do what Initve was doing to me before, but in a different way. But maybe it just turns out that um, the Initve trick was very good and these other like poor man's options that I'm trying, like none of them are gonna be anywhere as good as that. Mm. Should I try Ukko against this? Um, yeah, he's picking triple reviver. Th this fight kind of uh, males like I'm gonna use uh, either Initve or Blood Gorge. L let's see what he picks. Oh, fuck, I need to pick two. Uh, I wish I had only picked one. Uh, I guess I just go with the double dodges. It is what it is. Yeah, Initve last week would be kind of funny depending on what he picks. <laughs> I mean, not, not, well, it will gonna be Initve or Blood Gorge, but if he picks something very squishy, like let's say George, it, I might go with with blood cords, then okay, it's not gonna work against these two. I definitely have to use Init, but I actually had this kind of matchup before, and I think Init can probably deal with this, so I should be good. Actually, Init is gonna be very good. He's probably gonna ban Init, actually. It, it is kind of crazy that a champion that is like totally never used in the game, and everybody always gets super sad if they get Initve. It's actually... Oh my god, he didn't ban Initve. Okay. I, I was gonna say that um, I'm gonna get Rotos again because he bans Initve because he has to ban Initve, but for some reason he didn't ban Initve. I'm not really sure why. Like, does he not know Initve skills? Like, he has Rotos with Triple Reviver and there is no Necret and there is no Harima. Like, I guess he's gonna survive a couple turns because of Whale, but eventually the Trotos is gonna get one shot and there's nothing that he can do about it. I don't think, maybe I'm wrong, we will see. I mean, if he kills my team very fast before the Whale runs out, that, that's his win condition, but I don't think that's possible, so... This is kind of um, odd choice from him, like... He saw that I picked Initve. Uh, maybe I should do... I can just do this, I guess. He saw that I picked Initve and he knew the matchup and he still banned my Rotos. Like, if I was him, I would have definitely banned Initve. Like, I was totally expecting him to do it. Maybe it turns out that uh, my today's test picks are gonna be duds, but it is gonna be another day of Initve domination. It, well, right now it's not day, it's like middle of the night, my sleep schedule right now is kind of fucked up, but I was so busy today with like all of the holiday family stuff that I didn't get to do any live arena and I wanted to play the last like live arena thing before I go sleep, but it's basically like morning soon, so it, it's like um, it's 4 a.m. for me, so I'm super tired, but I wanted to do a couple fights and try out these builds. Uh, maybe I will do another video today, we will see. I, I will probably do a second one because this is kind of Saturday's video and not Sunday's or something in between those two. But yeah, honestly, I don't know why this guy isn't surrendering. Maybe he actually doesn't know Initves like Git. Because he's gonna do a triple hitter and there is nothing this Rodos can do at this situation. Yeah, I, I don't know. If you know this guy, ask him, like, what are we doing? Or has he never seen an Initve before? I mean, maybe it is possible because Initve is so seldomly used champion that he might forgot that it has a triple hitter. I I'm not sure. Oh, we got a chest. Let's see. I'm not sure, should I wait for the chest to go up in rank? Nah, maybe it's gonna take so many fights because it's 5 points per win. I don't get get the fact that um, 
where can I see the thing? You need 4.8k points to get to the max milestone, and I guess to get to goal 4. We get 5 w points per win, like, are they doing this just for, um, like, um, the beta test? Or as, is it actually gonna be like this in the live version, because it seems like it's way too little points, like, surely. I don't know, what, what do you guys think about it? It, it seems kind of weird that it, it's only 5 points per win. Uh, we only got 4 pieces, that's kind of interesting. Oh, mm, I'm not sure if I've, like, I'm probably not gonna use this, because, well, I might roll it and see, maybe I get, like, few rolls in crit damage, and if I do, maybe I roll it to 16 and see if I get speed. In that case, or crit, I might use it in Hydra, but probably not, but le let's keep it anyway. Now, this set would actually be good on, like, um, Blood Gorge and Royal Huntsman, and I guess Blood Gorge kind of needs it more than Huntsman, because Huntsman is definitely gonna kill one target, but Blood Gorge, as you see, he did only, like, 90k with his nuke. For him, this set might be good, but yeah, I'm not gonna keep any 5-star, like, I think some of you might keep this piece, and it will probably be good for keeping, but I'm not gonna keep any 5-star. I probably shouldn't then keep this, but I'll keep it for now, because it's a new set, and I want to have a decent amount of it, so that I can make bills. Also, I would say, I, I definitely need to make a video about this topic next week, I was planning to do it before as well, but um, I will say that some item sets are, like, way more important than others, and in those item sets you definitely want to keep even worse gear than you would on some others, like something like stone skin is very versatile, and many stone skin pieces you can use even if they are not like insane, and you might use it in so, you might use it on so many champions that, that you need even of those like worse pieces, and you might even use like weird stat combinations in stone skin, because you could use new builds, you could use uh, like all kinds of different builds. <coughs> you, you could use nuke builds and you could use all kinds of like speed builds, HP builds, resistance, accuracy, like everything is usable in stone skin, so. Uh, yeah, I guess these three will always be my like first choice and then we will see what they pick, and I will make decisions after that. Maybe some team I will just go with multiple nokers. It, it would be kind of funny, but I can do that against every team comp, but I might be able to do it against some. It would be kind of funny to use um, the stone skin Huntsman against this team, but the issue is that um, the Blood Gorge can kill him even through it, and my Huntsman doesn't have any um, reaction, so... And I think it's a decent speed, it's maybe like 200 speed, so it will probably outspeed this charge it anyway. I wonder... Uh, should I also go with Ukko in this fight? Uh, I feel like no matter which Nuker I pick, the Nuker is gonna die anyway, so... I wish I had Harima. Harima would be a great pick against this. Yeah, I guess I'll just resource to my safe pick that I had su success with, but definitely if I get the Harima. Otherwise, I would probably build it as a tank or like a bolster support for classic arena defense. But probably I would want Harima in like nuke build in this format, and then I could also use like defense lethal sets that. I'm not using in anything else. Uh, who do I actually want to ban here? Do I want to let him use double nuker? It kind of, it's kind of scary. Yeah, let's go with Kaimar anyway. I kind of have PTSD from like getting owned by the Heprak before, and I guess now that he banned my Necret, the Heprak is definitely gonna um, it's gonna kill my Rotos, so it is kind of bad. Probably I, I will lose this one. 
Uh, I don't know which one I should have banned, like Kaimar or one of the two nukers, but I feel like any of these probably would have been a hard fight for me. Maybe I should have banned the Chorchid. Maybe, maybe that would have more, made more sense. The Heprak is not gonna kill my tanky Dutch super easily, but Chorchid might even be able to do that, so... Uh, okay, that that head rock was kind of weak. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure what happened here. I wasn't expecting that. Um, let's actually go with the whale and save the revive for later. Just so that I can kill both of his. Ah, um... oh, fuck! This is gonna be bad. Maybe I have to kill the. Heprak first. I can't kill both of the revivers because Heprak is gonna kill Rotos. Uh, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I should have revived in it better. Thank God for the reaction procs. So yeah, if I kill this um, anything else than Heprak, then Heprak is gonna like fuck me over. So I must ban him. And I'm not sure if I can really kill the Sifi. I wonder if I should kill... Actually, uh, let's kill Chorchid, yeah. So that Arbiter doesn't give turn meter boost to Chorchid. Maybe this is the best choice. I if I can get the turn with um, Init, well, I'm definitely gonna win this, but this is kind of cutting in close. And I guess Rotos is gonna get some heals here, so he's not gonna die easily, but I still always need to kill that Heprak first, because if he gets his um, passive on me after I kill something, then Rotos is gonna die. Ah, fuck. Ah, I guess that's a loss to me. I should have used the revive earlier. Mm. Yeah, it is what it is. It is kind of hard to deal with this team comp, with, with my team, but maybe next time I will brand the um, George it and see what happens. Yeah, I feel like I'm probably gonna hit the wall some point soon here and not gonna find as like easy fights as I had yesterday. <laughs> you, you never know, maybe if I pull Harima, I mean Harima is not the void champion so it is kind of plausible for me to get it but maybe if I get him that would give me a lot of more options. Like I've... Uh, Complained million times. I definitely want to get one more nuker. Like, I think Initve is definitely gonna be something that I will keep geared and I will use, but I would need like one tanky nuker, like something that I can build in a stone skin or that threatens the enemy team very much. Um, yeah, let's just go with these two, I guess. The typical safe picks. And then we have like two picks left, so we can try other champions if we see opportunity. Like maybe Ludia and. Um... Lol, Prakus might even be good against this. I was thinking maybe Ludia and uh, Ronda, but. Um... Yeah, even against this, like. Initve is kind of going to be good, but actually, let's pick Ronda just to try Ronda. Do I want to pick Ronda? Uh, but then he might ban the Duchess. Yeah, I'll just go... I was thinking of going with um, Ludia and Ronda, but if he then bans Duchess, it's kind of going to be hard for me. L let's just try it for fun, I guess. I think this might not be the best pick that I can do, but let's go with this. I think he, yeah, he will probably ban the Duchess, that I suspect. I don't think my Rotos can survive the... Um, what's it called? Dranda, but maybe he can. Um... Yeah, I still do want to ban Basher, it's kind of stupid because 
Basher's lockdown is so small, but I feel like because he doesn't have speed boost, uh, I was gonna say that Marotos is probably gonna be faster than his um, than his snookers, and it would have definitely killed something. But actually, if he picked it like this, then I think I will probably be fine in this comp. I think he can't kill my Ronda super easily with Necret protection with these two champions, so I should definitely... Yeah, I, I will definitely win this fight, I think. But yeah, th this is definitely like not the top team, so this is kind of he easier matchup than the last time, like that guy had way better champions than this guy does. Um, Ronda Duke actually doesn't hit insanely hard but let's do his aoe nook first like the um, a2 is what ronda is known for it hits very hard and it can block passives but her aoe nook actually isn't very hard hitting yeah as you, you, as you can see i save the um, single target nook to something else than judges hopefully because i want to like um, use the ludia passive and or keep it as an option Uh, but maybe I will not get to hit anything else but than Necrot, I guess. But yeah, these two nukers, they don't they are not able to kill my Duchess very fast, so I if this team had like charge it then I would have already lost. I don't think I could do anything against this. It is like uh I'm actually kind of enjoying this format even though I thought that I wouldn't, but the issue of like missing champions is so annoying because I feel like hardly anyone in this game is gonna have like enough champions to like be able to make some like actual teams and like fully like enjoy this content and like use it to the fullest. And it is kind of like sad because actually otherwise this could be pretty fun like maybe if we like ask Barium like maybe they would consider doing something like letting you use champions of other accounts like I know that in some other games you can basically like um, rent teams from other players like your friend makes a code of his team and then he shares it and then you can use your friend's team like I'm not sure if Flarium would be willing to do that, but if they did that or something like that, I think um, this game mode could actually be very like big hit, and then everybody could do like live arena and like it could be actually kind of competitive. Like that would actually be very interesting. Then we could also see like like we could more compare who are the good like players in this game if everybody would have like um, access to, this, to the same teams or at least oppor opportunity to get some of the best teams. Uh, I kind of don't want to do this on camera, but I must sneeze. I hope the, the mic doesn't like pick it up horribly, but it is what it is. I'm kind of uh, thinking of trying stream at some point, but I kind of need to get used to talking to the camera, so these like long live arena sessions are like a good way to like try it out and like test it or practice it. Yeah, I guess this was kind of uneventful fight. I don't think with that team that guy really had like easy time of killing me, and. Probably Initva would have been better pick in that fight than like Tranda. Maybe I already found out my best uh, options or ways to play this game and it's all downhill from here. Uh, this name sounds kind of familiar. I'm not sure if I know this guy from somewhere. Maybe I've yeah, maybe I've talked with him or 
maybe are, we are in some discords together. But I can't recall who he is, so whatever. I'm actually kind of uh, surprised that I haven't met a lot of people that I know so far. Like, I have definitely met a few. I think I met, um, was it my clanmate Adrenal, who I lost to. And then I think I met um, HWT, like, great content creator. I think I met him a couple of times, but apart from those two, I'm not sure if I met anybody else that I know. Maybe, maybe I did and I forgot it and now, now they will be mad. Sorry about that. I, I can't. I can't recall anybody else. Um, yeah, let's just go with the speed touches again. Also, the all of the ignore defense champions that I have built, like Blood Gorge, Royal Huntsman, and um, Ronda, all of them will suck against this Harima. Like, even Rotos is gonna suck against it, but um, Rotos is so good that I have to use. Ah, fuck. I kinda wanna go with. Um... Nah, fuck it. I have to go double dodges. I wanted to go with Python against the Ukko. But my init face isn't gonna like yeah, my init face isn't gonna have any damage if like if he has Harima and then I don't even have attack buff, so I must use it. Huh? Maybe next video that I do I have to try out some other supports, like I wonder what else could be good that I could use increase attack buff on. I was actually looking at the list earlier and there wasn't really that many options. Uh, wait, let's see. I kind of want to ban the Ukko, but let's go with the uh, Harima, yeah. So I was looking it from Ayumi Love earlier and I just didn't see many good like options. There was that one, I mean of course there's Arbiter, like maybe I have to change my Arbiter, Arbiter build and build her for Live Arena. That could be something that I could do. And maybe I could try Arbiter with like a fast nuke or like do a fast blood course or something. But then there was that one orc champion whose name I don't remember, but like one other reviver that also has um, increased attack. And then there was that one epic champion, I think it's called Guargon or some lizardman epic champion. Uh, so I think a few people were actually recommending that to me in comments and I remember people in my clan were using it in um, in um, Sand Devil before so maybe I will try him we will see I will have to maybe do a bit some like research like look up some champions on Ayumi Love and think about it and maybe ask my friends opinions though they all play with the good champions anyway so I usually can't really like get a lot of feedback from them because when I ask um, opinions or help about teams from my clan mates usually the answer is gonna be that uh, buy a better account I have heard that phrase like a million times and like it is what it is I mean I'm probably gonna hear it another few million times if every time I complain about something in my clan like I wish I had this champion or I wish something that I have like would get buffed because it's so bad always the response is gonna be that buy a better account <laughs> which I mean I don't really want to do it like I could I could do it but my account is something that I have been playing for many years and I have put so much like thought and effort into like first of all just progressing on the account but trying to play efficiently and I'm like attached to my champions and my account so I don't really want to like buy another account I just I wish I could get more champions on my account like some people were even offering to like or actually quite many people have been offering to let me play on their accounts and maybe I will try that at some point. Like, I have um, 
been suggested that many times in the past, even by some incredible accounts, and I have still declined it, but m maybe I need to come around because I could probably have some fun in this live arena if I um, if I try to play with one of those top accounts. M maybe I will I will see it, but um, many people actually in comments were suggesting to me that if I want I can play with your account and thanks for those suggestions but uh, for now there is no need to but but I do appreciate the thought a lot so I definitely would have access to some very good accounts that very kindly offered to like let me use them in the past but we, we will see maybe I will play m with my account for couple of weeks and or like for a bit and if I'm really su super frustrated and I want to compete in this then maybe I will beg some of my clan mates that can I do live arena videos with their accounts we will see though I find that concept kind of um, weird that in this game people are used to playing on other people's accounts and when you do that like like, aren't you gonna mess their bills and isn't it gonna be super, like, frustrating that you have other people, like, changing your bills all the time? I I'm not sure, but I kind of find it, um, the concept that people are so, like, easily letting others play on their accounts. I'm not really used to that in other games. Uh, this is gonna be super a long fight and I might actually lo lose this one. It's kind of gonna come down to RNC and... Right now I'm getting royally cocked by this Ukko. Maybe I should have picked like Ukko or UDK against this. Even UDK might get like cocked by this Ukko, so yeah. It is kind of interesting. Maybe I should try this in some fights as well. That I don't pick the Necret and I go with like two strong revivers and um, and uh, Rotos. Uh, can I kill them? Maybe, maybe I can kill them. I get. Oh fuck! He has three revivers. Never mind. The fucking Ukko is gonna revive everybody with block damage. Uh, I think I'm gonna lose this fight actually. Wait, wait. Oh, he used it before. My bad. Well, then it's gonna come down to if I weak hit on him or not, but. I definitely should have played the pick and ban phase better in this fight. Well, I could still lose if like this Rotos gets good RNG in this like coin tosses. I mean, I've had some of these before that, as you've seen some other fights, that it is like coin toss who is gonna win. So it's gonna come down to it again, I guess. Does he have A3? Yeah, it's gonna A3 Duchess and then it's gonna be RNG who wins. Oh shit. Well, now he's gonna A3. Fuck. Come on. Counter attack. Let's see counter attack. Uh, well, okay. Well, never mind. I would have won it there. Uh, I wonder ma what masteries he was using. He, he didn't have the mastery that gives him HP from kill, I don't think. Okay, well, we won that with out of struggle, but definitely we're starting to meet teams that the same team doesn't always work against, so I need to think about other options. Um, maybe I will try that I save the Necret pick for, for later and maybe against some teams I will not pick the Necret, but if I meet something with like double hitter, like I'm definitely wanna, gonna want to get the Necret, so we will see. It, it is kind of hard choice because then, if I pick Rotos first, he's all, almost certainly gonna pick like Harima or um, UDK if he has them, but I guess I got no choice. Yeah. Yeah, th this time, yeah, I, I will save the Necrot pick for a bit later. I kind of want to get some variation and try different things as well, but. I wonder if I could do the Initve team without um, Necret. Probably not against most teams, no. 
Ah, oh, fuck, this is... This is looking a hard fight because I want to ban both of these two, so... Uh, maybe I will... Yeah, maybe I will actually go with the Uko this time because... Maybe his Yumeko isn't as fast as my Uko. I, I can't tell, but maybe he can't tell either. Or I mean, if the Yumeko is like 400 speed, then, then he knows he's faster. But if it isn't, then... Then who knows who goes first. Um, I think, yeah, I think maybe maybe this fight I will try without Necrit because the Baron is probably gonna kill um, my Initve anyway, like even with Necrit, so it's not gonna matter and I have to um, I have to ban the Yumeko, I can't ban the Baron so um, is he, oh yeah, he's gonna ban Initve, dude Initve is like criminally underrated. Like, I never knew that he's gonna be so good. Like, he gets banned so often. Like, I didn't say that just for clickbait. Like, I originally thought that I'm gonna get my Rotos maybe like one in every 100 fight. If somebody accidentally bans the wrong champions or like feels pity for me or trolls me. But actually, a lot of these champions like Rotos and Baron and Georgid are very like susceptible to Initve, even though he hits like he doesn't hit hard at all. But these people are very scared about Initve and they don't want to like um, face him. So by the way, what I did here, why I didn't pick um, pick um, two Duchesses, is because against these Nukers I can kill them even with Initve without attack down and. I wanted to get this Pythion that has stone skin in case my other Duchess get, gets banned. So that um, I might be able to survive this Baron well. And actually this looks like this is going, going kind of well again. Going with uh, Ukko was definitely a good choice here. I was kind of uh, not using the Ukko a lot today because I had so good experience yesterday with the... Uh, double duchess meme team but I definitely shouldn't underestimate Ukko and that, that's why I made a video about him today because I feel like Ukko is gonna be very good champion for live arena and it is one of those champions that uh, many people in the game will have him so I thought that it would be very topical video and also because one of my um, friends um, who was it? I think it was maybe Drew Baru, but don't quote me on that. But somebody suggested that I should do a Uko video this week, and I think he was right. I think I was actually planning to do a Python video, and maybe I will do Python next or in future, but Uko was a good choice this week. Yeah, here's a little bit of shilling. If you didn't see my Uko video today, you should watch it. And you should definitely build Ukko for live arena. Like, even if you have like insane account with all of the champions, even on that kind of account, having Ukko available, even if you don't use it every fight, is totally worth it. Basically, every account in this game will be like Ukko will be a viable champion for you if you have it. And even if you don't have the gear to make the stun build swift parry or stone skin are definitely still options like even those can work though the stun set build is is very interesting one um yeah so i i don't want to go with the um, necrot pick again like he was my first pick for a while and i think he's a solid first pick as well but actually, I kind of want to save that pick for later, because I kind of feel like my other nukers aren't very, like, um, they didn't pan out. Like, I mean, I didn't expect them to, but I have tried using Blood Gorge so many times, and I'm always disappointed with him. But, um, but yeah, I tried those different ones, and I already know that they are not gonna pan out. 
and if I'm gonna use init in every fight anyway, then maybe I want to have more options to like pick a different support instead of um, picking init as like last pick every time. Um, so wait, time is gonna run out. <laughs> oh yeah, can I? Yeah, many people were suggesting me this last time that I definitely need to use the recently used filter and. You're right about that, so thanks for those recommendations. Um, uh, do I want to go with... Ah, fuck it, let's go with double duchess. Yeah, double duchess it is. I was kind of thinking about Uko or duchess, but... Maybe we could even go triple reviver. We will see. Maybe I will not use... Uh, um, Necrot in this fight. That, that might be kind of interesting, actually. Yeah, I feel like that one guy that used Ripple Reviver on me kind of opened my eyes that Necrot is definitely a very good pick, but I don't have to pick Necrot every time. I definitely could use UDK a bit as well, but I feel like um, he's just gonna make the fights very slow and I'd rather pick something else in this format than UDK usually. But may maybe I will use it in some matchups for sure. Um, um, fuck, the init phase is not even gonna have damage to kill this team. Should I go with triple nuker? That would be kind of meme team. Uh, nah, let's see all of this. Uh, where is Blood Gorge? Uh, he's probably gonna ban one of the Duchesses. Maybe not, maybe he's gonna ban... I don't know what he's gonna do about against this. I kind of trolled myself, I don't think this will work. But I felt like... Um, yeah, if he banned my Rotos and I picked like another support, I feel like... Inisba wouldn't have enough damage to kill this team alone, so... I kind of went this like... Weird choice because I don't have... Like... There was nothing else that I could really use. N none of these will... Be great, great against this. Oh fuck, I didn't... Oh my god. Did I miss the ban? Ah, uh, fuck. I'm not sure if I meet, missed that because I was AFK. Okay, so... I kind of cocked myself there, though. And yeah, he... <laughs> fuck me. I was talking and I forgot that part. Yeah, I don't think these two nukers can do anything if they're locked out. This, this was kind of taking a chance, though, because sometimes maybe you can try it that the enemy is expecting you to ban their like lock out and maybe you might be able to pick a better team and they wouldn't expect this to happen but uh, yeah th this will be hard well in it for a1 does okay damage and this warlord does seem very squishy but the issue is that i don't even have a necrot maybe if i had one duchess and a necrot it would work but yeah i'm just gonna get cocked by the rotos i guess unless like one of my Duchess has got lucky and resist. Yeah, I kind of um, screwed myself over here because I was uh, not paying attention that I had to ban something. I guess I should just surrender this. Uh, let, let's see the Rotos turn. Well, this Duchess is kind of fast, so <clears throat> it might be possible to rotate. What is he doing? It might be possible to rotate her cooldowns, but he does have a CP as well, so I'm not really sure if he can can get a, like revive up. We, we will see. I guess I'll just wait and see. But I don't know why the, what what this guy is doing. Like he could try hitting my nukers, but I guess he doesn't want to. I I don't know what, what what's up with that. Maybe he's like going with me. I guess. But yeah, th this is kind of over. This was my bad. It was kind of weird because um, the ban phase, like, the animation didn't end. Like, it stayed on that screen for a long time. So I thought that I could still ban it, and, but I wasn't able to, so. 
I mean, technically, well, I mean, he, sh he should be able to one-shot this Blood Gorge, unless he weak hits. But let's say he gets multiple weak hits in a row. This could, like, one-shot Rotos with his A1, technically. So, see if he's just gonna revive it, but yeah. Yeah, I I'll see if I can get one revive up, and if I'm not able to, then I'm gonna surrender. But even if I do get the revive up, it's probably not gonna do anything. And I guess I shouldn't have eaten the Rotos. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, I, I don't know if why I'm even like staying here for three minutes, but I kind of uh, acted stupid and paid the price. I guess he's gonna have like lockout right now, right? I mean, technically, if my he needs to go turn, but he's locked out, but. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. If I ban the Baron though, I feel like, I mean the Warlord, I feel like I would have stood a chance against this team. I think the triple Nuker pick was actually kind of good against this Georgie matchup, but yeah, okay, yeah, let's, let's just surrender. I wasted like, I don't know, five minutes of like, both of our time, I'm sorry about that. It is what it is. Maybe if I actually ban the Warlord instead of like AFKing, I maybe I could have stood a chance. I, I feel like I could have um, the the um, the Blood Gorge is in Swift Parry, so he might even be able to survive some nukes. But the Rotos would have weak hit on him, and he might have survived. Um, uh, the Taras with Swift Parry, so... And if I got, like, maybe Taras, maybe I would have two Nukers hidden Taras, and then I finish him off with Blood Gorged, I think at that point I would have won the fight. But yeah, having this uh, recently picked tap definitely makes this better, though I feel like they should ha add a separate tap for like arena fights uh what is he picking i don't think i have seen a single mashallah yet like this guy has i guess seven worse champions than i do uh okay let's let's just i let him see the init and let's see what he does after that but this guy's team doesn't look very scary, but maybe this Marshall and Ukko is a good combination. Maybe if he has like a very fast Arbiter, this trio is kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, definitely against this I want to pick Necrot and it's just gonna be my usual team, I guess. I, I don't want to go Ukko against this because he's definitely gonna be faster than me, me with Arbiter, but um, his team is going to be very squishy, so I don't necessarily need double Duchess. I'll, I'll go with Pytheon this time. Pytheos, Pytheon is in stone skin and he might be able to like not get CC'd and... What? This guy is also using Blood Gorge. What the fuck? Yeah, so Pytheon might be able to cleanse my team. Okay. Should I should I do what everybody does against me and <laughs> ban the blood gorge? Like I guess if he bans the Rotos then this is very susceptible to the blood gorge, but nah. I'm not gonna fall for that. Let's try this and see what happens. Yeah, I, I was kind of expecting this, but I'm not sure if he's um We will see. I'm not sure how easily his blood gorge is gonna kill my Initve. Even though he is only 14k HP though, and I'm not running the double um, double Duchess, so I have nobody in bolster. I mean, Necrot is in shield, but there is only one shield and no bolster. So maybe if he has two nukers hitting, then maybe if Blood Gorge goes second, he will kill Initwave and Druid. 
Mm. Okay, now he's definitely not gonna kill anything. If he uses it now, he's gonna waste. Okay. Even if that didn't, like, uh, weak his, he would have had zero chance to kill my Necroth with that skill. It wouldn't have even been close because, as you saw, my God Gorge was doing, like, 90k hit, so... Let's say, I mean, he can't have that much better gear, but let's say he has, like, the best Blood Gorge plus one in the game, and he did, like, 110k damage. It, it still wouldn't... I mean, if he did 130k damage, it wouldn't kill my Necrot, so... It is nowhere close enough. He might not even be able to kill my Necrot with two, two, like, two nooks. Well, maybe he would, yeah. Maybe two should be enough. Um, he doesn't have any buffs, so I think Init Face just gonna kill his two nukers here. Yeah. Yeah, if enemy picks some, like, squishy nukers like this, and somehow you're able to build a team that you can get the turn with Init Face, then he's definitely, like, pretty good choice. But yeah, I feel I kind of lost one fight, and then one fight I just trolled myself. I kind of... Can we get one... Um, I kind of want to get like one good hard fight against some like hard team that is kind of even fight, and we will play to the end. We will see. I, I also noticed that many of the people were like very high points in like live arena. And they have done like insane amount of live arena battles, like hundreds of battles already. Like I thought that I was doing a lot of them, but nowhere near enough to compete with some people. I mean, like I said, I was kind of busy today because of the holidays, but I have been doing this every day of the week this week, so and I've been buying reset every day and I think I'm at like maybe 85 fights at this point, M maybe more, L less than 90 at least, I think. Uh, yeah, this is kind of stuff I have met before, but actually I'm probably gonna ban one of these unless he picks, I mean, yeah, he has to, well, he might pick a Nuker and Warlord, but Initve has actually kind of been doing good against both of these types of teams, like, it might be slow, but often he's gonna get the kill in the end. Um, yeah, I think yeah, we definitely want to go with Necrot this time. Yeah, probably just the double Duchess Necrot. And yeah, maybe I will try Super Champions next. I think um, maybe Brockney will have some potential if I stack multiple like. Um, shield champions together and maybe kill some candy or something with Brockney passive. We, w we will see. Yeah, it might be good against some teams, but against some teams it would do nothing. Like, it would do nothing against Baron, so... Uh, this is very annoying team. I got, there is so many. I want to, like, ban half of the champions in his team. Well, oh my god, this is so annoying. Yeah. There is no other choice with Init Venuker. Yeah, I could have taken a risk here and maybe ban the Harima. If if I ban if I ban the Harima and he actually banned my Init like he did, then I would have stood a chance, but if I don't ban the lockout and he bans the Rotos, then my init way is not gonna do anything, so I had to go with this. I hope they make some changes to this format, like, there is so many options that you could do, like, what I mentioned before, that we could rent teams from our friends or just random people. We could, I guess, even have random teams, though, maybe that wouldn't be possible, because you wouldn't know the bills, or maybe that could be a format anyway, but there could be a seasonal format that you can only pick, like, um, I don't know, epics, or only rares, or 
only champions from these specific factions. Like, I think if they did some like formats with limited rules, it would make this a lot more interesting. I hope they will like um, do some other stuff with the live arena and not just keep it like this till the end of time. Like, there is definitely like room to do all kinds of like fun events with this. Maybe you guys have some other better ideas. I'm sure there is something like very good that I didn't think about that you could do. Maybe, maybe well, I don't know if that would be fun, but maybe there could be a format that um, everybody has to use the exact same team. Well, maybe that wouldn't be fun. It could be some kind of um, April Fools format, maybe, but probably it wouldn't be that fun. But Definitely you could do some kind of weird formats with this content. Um, I think I will definitely win this eventually. Well, he does have double nuker, so I, I don't know. This... Um, the Baron didn't seem incredibly strong, so... I'm not sure if it can one-shot my strong dodges after he loses the buffs. But if he can't, then this is gonna stall for a while. I just need to stack the A2 on my Rotos and eventually like block revive or one-shot the UDK and then kill the Sifi. I'm not sure if I will have... Um, any time to do any fights after this, but I'm barely staying awake. I need to go sleep anyway, so it will be fun. Yeah, let's go with the A2. Man, I'm getting parsed. Like it's late, and I'm talking so much that my my uh, lips and throat is like dying of thirst and like. Feeling super like um, dry, yeah, dry. By the way, if you guys have any ideas what I should try in Live Arena, definitely tell me. Surely there must be something else that I didn't think about yet, but definitely the next thing that I will test, like today I was kind of testing the different, like, um, ignore defense snookers, but I wasn't really like uh, impressed by any of them. But um, next time I will try some different kind of supports. M maybe I will find some interesting tactics, we will see. But uh, definitely, definitely the stuff that I have been using so far, like double Dutchess, Ukko, Necret, Rotos, Initve, these all definitely work, and I do recommend them, but I still um, hope to find some other options as well. There is definitely some accounts that there is just nothing I can do to beat them, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I guess my Rotos hasn't been getting crits against this UDK, and looks like I'm probably gonna lose this. It's not looking good. Yeah, you definitely need to... Oh, fuck, okay, I lost this. You definitely need to prepare, like, time to do live arena, because these match matches are gonna be long as hell, so... Maybe I can squeeze in one more fight after this. Yeah, I could have definitely won this if I had better RNG, but my Rotos just wasn't getting like crits against this UDK, so. And definitely, like, uh, these three champions are all very like hard to deal with, and all of them in the same team plus Warlord that I had to ban. Okay, I guess we can do one for one more fight. Uh. Maybe I... let's see if I can do some, like, other teams this time.
Uh, level 82. Uh, let, let's. I don't want to be disrespectful, but I will try to pick fast. And maybe if he also picks fast, then I can do one more fight. Oh, I'm, I'm not even going to think about this. Let's, let's pick it fast and maybe, maybe I can get one more queue in. It, it pro probably not because, yeah, this is. Um, oh, fuck. I guess that makes sense why I'm meeting level 82 because he has very good champions or Taras, like doesn't need multiple good champions, just one Taras and I'm already like scared. So, well, if he doesn't have like Warlord or something else scary here, then, then probably I will get one more fight. Yeah, I don't know, the level, seeing low level player isn't very intimidating, but I have seen this um, one guy many times with um, double double Taras, Maritska and I think Sifi. <laughs> and I have lost to him many times, even though he's like level 80 something, but it is what it is. But yeah, maybe maybe Taras gives some hope that maybe one day me or one of you guys may, maybe you get lucky and you pull both Taras and Marichka. And if you do, then you're like set in the game basically. You will get so insane results if you happen to pick both of them. Not pick. If you have if you happen to pull both of them. Uh, by the way, I will definitely say that if you happen to get multiple Taras. It's, it's something very well known in top arena, but I definitely would think very hard about empowering Taras. Like, if you happen to be lucky and get multiple Taras, you definitely want to build and keep all of them. Unless you get like silly on different like Taras, because even though empowering him would be insanely good, but... Uh, Having two Taras is just so good, like, if you have two Taras, then you're always gonna use it, and if you have two Taras and Mariska, then you don't want to use any other team, like, it's just way too good. And if you don't know, like, when when the Mariska does his, her A1, and he does ally attack with run, one random teammate, and if Taras is in the team, then Taras will, um, like, join the ally attack. But if you have two Taras in the team, both of the Taras will join the ally attack. And I'm not sure if that is like bug. It might not even be intended. I'm not sure, but it is very hard mechanic. I mean, there is many bigger issues with Taras, but it is kind of um, e interesting mechanic to know. Also, actually, there is the same thing with his A2 as well. Like, let's say enemy. Taras has two, uh, enemy player has two Taras in their team, and Marichka, and if you hit um, the Marichka, then both of the Taras will hit you with A2, and I have noticed that even if you have UDK, he's only gonna reflect one of those Taras, even though it's not an ally attack and they do their own turns, but he's not gonna deflect both of them, just one. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be incredibly hard fight. I'm definitely gonna go with um, double dutches against this guy. I could have picked Ukko. That might work depending on his last pick. Oh, okay, I, I have no ch chance against this team. This is already like uh, set in the stone in the like picking face when we see the champions like no matter if he has the worst gear in the game like <laughs> there is no way that i can beat this team um who should i even ban maybe i will ban taras but oh he banned init so that's kind of interesting because i was thinking that um init might not even be able to kill the charge it even though it's like 13k HP because of the Harima in the team. 
but I still I don't think I have any chance against this team. This guy has way too good champions. It's basically like a, a collection. Like literally, this is all of my most wanted champions. All of these champions I want. And not not really much else. Like if I got all of the champions that he just picked in the team, I would not need like any new champions ever in this game. I would be totally like set. And, and I'm sure it's like it's of course all of his best champions as well, but they are literally like the best of the best that there is in this game right now. So But I guess that is the I'm definitely not gonna have enough damage to kill the CP because of the Harima. But I'm not even sure if I can kill the George, but I guess the RNG and the chance to get insane account if you have good luck with pulls. I'm sure it's like um, something that attracts a lot of players in, in this game. And I do kind of enjoy the RNG mechanics a bit, or like the gacha mechanics. But um, I do like the RPG elements of this game. I have played some other gacha games in the past, but I'm not really like um, a gacha gamer. I'm more like RPG and MMO player, or like I guess I like the R MMOs because they are MMO RPGs. But yeah, basically I'm RPG player. And then I like a lot of like um, I have seen that. Um, who is it? Not Ash, but um, yeah, Chosen. I heard that he likes to play um, Age of Empires, and I haven't played that game in a long time, but I used to play a lot of those types of games, like Age of Empires, um, Heroes of Might and Magic, uh, Settlers, Th there was many others, like maybe like 10-15 um, years ago. Those kind of uh, turn-based, like, like town or city, um, like building strategy war games, like whatever those are called, like real-time strategy games. Those used to be very fun. It is kind of, um, I haven't seen a lot of those types of um, games nowadays. I guess they kind of um, have fallen out of like favor, and they are not something that people are into like these days they are kind of like old bygone era games well I do know that um, Heroes of Might and Magic has kind of um, like uh, surged back into the popularity and there has been like some um, what's it called like player made um, add-ons to the game or like expansions and some of those are like very popular and the game is, I guess, more popular than ever. But yeah, I'm also um, looking forward to upcoming MMOs. And I'm not sure yet, like, we will see if I can grow my channel. But maybe if we get the Riot MMO, or if we get um, Ashes of Creation, then maybe I will... Like, I, well, I will definitely play those games, but maybe I will even try to make content in those games. We, we will see. Probably not, but you never know. Like. By the way, the, the other MMOs, like, um, before this, I mean, I have played RuneScape. I have played, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, this was going to be a long fight, but I was going to lose this, yeah. The last MMOs, by the way, if anyone is interested, I played RuneScape. Or like, I replayed RuneScape, I used to play it like, years ago, when I was a kid. And before that I played BDO, and before that I played World of Warcraft, which I played for super many years, and I have played a few different other MMOs as well. But anyway, that's it for today's video, and we had multiple yeah, we had four losses. Four losses. One of them was kind of my mistake because I accidentally didn't ban, but it was definitely a lot um, tougher today as I was suspecting it to be. Yeah, my win rate 
went down a decent amount. Wow, this guy has very high win rates. Ah, uh, well, yeah, yeah, it is this guy. I guess he's also a fellow content creator. It, it is sometimes um, a bit confusing because I'm not familiar with these characters. But I'm sure I'm pretty sure this guy also does um, content, and I have seen some of his videos. I think he made uh, a pretty good video today or yesterday about um, like what are the meta champions for uh, like. Um, actually, let, let's look it up. Let, let's give him give him a shout out. He made a good video today that summed up the popular. Um, or the like top choices for for live arena and I I agreed with his list a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how easily I can share this channel because his name is very hard. I'm not even hundred percent sure it's the same account, but and uh, I you know it has to be the same account. Yeah, uh, yeah, this guy. Um, this is the video I was talking about. Um, you should definitely see this channel for some high-level arena pushes and some interesting commentary. I kind of like the Korean language. It sounds very interesting when he speaks, even though I don't understand it. But he's even um, adding subtitles, so he's kind of making it um, watchable for everybody, even if you don't understand the Korean. And like I said, I do like the Korean, uh, like the aesthetics, how the words sound. It does sound very cool, but... Yeah, I like the spreadsheet and he explains it uh, more in detail in this video and if you're interested about Live Arena, you should definitely watch this uh, watch this video. I'm not really sure how I can uh, how I can link his channel because <laughs> the name is kind of hard. You can see here his um, his YouTube tag. I'm not really sure. <laughs> If you're able to find this, uh, I saw that he definitely he commented in one of my recent videos. So, if this um, bequests your interest, you can find him in the comments of my Initve video. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for today's video, and I'm not sure if it's super interesting one because all of the new champions I tried today didn't work out that well, but. You have, I guess, to try and fail so that you can maybe find some hidden games that, like we did yesterday with Initve. But anyway, that's it for today's video and thanks a lot for watching.